The Illuvium team has been setting new standards within the GameFi space, and the past couple of days have been wild. They have been filled and jam-packed with scouring these seven different regions within the Illuvium world and trying to find that one perfect plot or maybe multiple plots that speaks to you, that you want to hunker down in and build your little city within the Illuvium Zero game itself. Now, whether that be a tier one or a tier two or a tier three or a tier four, or maybe you're still waiting for that upcoming auction of the tier five, it doesn't matter. You may all be asking the same question when when are we going to be able to jump into the alluvium zero game itself and when is that alluvium zero alpha being released that i talked about here in this video or i think it's gonna be linked up somewhere up here if you haven't caught that yet go ahead and check out that video i highly recommend it but in today's video i'm gonna be telling you exactly when that alpha stay is gonna be being released as well as why the tier 5 auction was delayed and then i'm also going to be going over a bit of a teaser a bit of a leak that we got in discord that you're not going to want to miss at the very end of the video so stay tuned for that so with it being so that sounds interesting to you let's go ahead and dive right in so first things first i want to give a huge massive shout out to the entire alluvium team that developed this land sale everything about it has been incredible they are truly raising the bar here for how things should be done within this game five space and honestly for any future land sales or sales that the alluvium team does this gives me a massive boost in confidence for how well it will be structured and also how much they are continually keeping their community in mind when they go about these things. So if you haven't yet explored the Alluvium land sale and explore the UI and the interface of it, it honestly feels like a mini game in and of itself. I don't know how they did this or how they managed to accomplish this and pull it off, but they seriously made even the land sale feel like a little mini game that I am personally addicted to. It is ridiculously cool it is so much fun and it is one of the coolest and the smoothest minting processes that i have ever personally taken part of the way that they have structured this land sale has allowed for true price discovery it has limited the fomo and then also allowed everyone a chance over the course of multiple days to jump in and find their price and be able to pick up and find their piece of land that they want to buy and have an opportunity at getting that piece of land everything about this land sale has been going buttery smooth and it has just been beautiful fun and the resounding sentiment across the entire community has been overwhelmingly positive and rightfully so and to just quickly address the delay of the tier 5 auction the reason for that delay is simply due to a security issue is a flaw in the contract that they found and through discussing this with the council they're not going to go through with the tier 5 auction or rather they decided not to and they decided to continue on with the official living land sale but the two plots of tier 5 land that are going to be in a form of a standard auction is going to be held at a later date after they have been able to go back through and re-audit the contract and make sure that the security issues and flaws that were found are now fixed so that they do not compromise the security of their community and those trying to buy into these tier five pieces of land these are going to go for potentially very very significant amounts of money and security is not something that the alluvium team takes lightly they go through rigorous measures to make sure that they are taking every single security precaution possible and making sure that the audits are done properly and thoroughly and they are choosing their community over just trying to push a land sale with security issues that could compromise again their community and those that are trying to buy in this auction so again huge kudos to the team and a massive amount of respect earned once again in my opinion for taking the extra measure here and delaying this and again making sure that everything is secure now after picking up that coveted piece of land that you finally found after scouring the different regions and after seeing where the price has gone and where the uh, true price discovery has finally landed you may have finally jumped in picked up that piece of land and you may be wondering when when can i play on this land when can i play alluvium zero when can i build my little city and everything and so we have actually received a bit of a confirmation not a specific exact like set date but we do have this here from lucius uh from the alluvium team as a confirmation that the alluvium zero alpha will be released in about four weeks now keep in mind as well when the alpha state of the game rolls around we are going to be able to start keeping and 
collecting those blueprints. That is something that is going to be a part of the alpha state of the game. However, the fuel generation as, as far as like buying, trading and selling the fuel and everything and actually being able to collect fuel or, or do anything with the fuel and in the alpha state of the game, that's going to be disabled as far as like the selling process goes. Obviously, you're still going to need to be able to generate the fuel within the game to upgrade different buildings and everything. So that's going to be part of the game, but not part of the resources that you're going to be able to keep in the alpha state. That's going to be down the line when the actual main game is going to be released because that is where a lot of the utility and everything comes for fuel is within the main game and they want to give everyone a fair start so they are holding true to that word and the only thing that they are allowing the early investors here as a bit of a way of saying thank you to the early investors is in the alpha state of the game being able to collect these blueprints and be able to buy trade and sell them um, as well to future players and everything and so i think that is really cool and a really cool way to reward the early investors here and the early believers within the alluvium land within the alluvium world uh you name it all right now let's dive into that teaser that i was talking about earlier in the video and that is this right here from grant over in the discord and this was leaked the other day and it is a bit of a precursor or a teaser of something that is going to be coming from kieran and the shapeshifter guys now i have a sneaking suspicion of what this might be but i want to know what you all think it might be down in the comment section below i have a feeling that it's going to be overworld related because we were promised an overworld in the private beta part two and we're going to actually be able to dive into the overworld and start testing that out so i have a sneaking suspicion that that might be what this is because they have been teasing that it is up and coming and coming very soon uh with just a few regions not all the regions i think it's just gonna be like three or four regions or something like that but i still cannot wait for this so that is what the teaser is going to be and i'm going to be making a video uh and link it up here or here or somewhere around here as soon as we actually get confirmation of what that is so again stick around you're not going to miss that with that being said i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day morning night evening whatever time it is for you and i'll see you all in a future live stream video whatever it may be have a good one